What's up, guys? Mainly Hockey Cards here, and because the Rangers start their playoff journey today, I thought it would be a great time for a playoff video. I did want to make a playoff bracket and share it with you guys, as well as my picks for one player on each team that will be a pivotal X-Factor player, as represented by their Young Guns rookies. I think for each of these players, you might want to keep an eye on them if their team starts advancing. I could make things easy on myself and do some mainstream guys like McKinnon, Huberto, Kaprizov, and Matthews, but I'm going to share some not-so-obvious picks because I think that's actually just more fun. Starting things off, we have Colorado versus Nashville. I have Colorado winning this in four games, and it's really because Nashville is in trouble if UC Saros is not playing. So in turn, he is the X factor in this series for the Preds. If they have any chance of winning, it falls on his shoulders. Even Roman Yossi can't do enough. For Colorado, I think there are some obvious choices, but I want to see how Valeri Nichushkin plays. He has 23 points in his past 25 games and just seems to be on an absolute tear. Next, Minnesota versus St. Louis. I think this is going to be a much closer series with Minnesota edging it out in seven games despite a poor performance last night. While there will be a great storyline of Kaprizov versus Tarasenko, I'm focused on Robert Thomas, who for some reason does not get the hobby love he deserves, versus Kevin Fiala, who again does not get the hobby love he deserves. They have two distinctively different styles, but as the ultimate complementary pieces, I think they're both huge X factors. Calgary versus Dallas. I would love Dallas to win this, but I just don't see it happening. Calgary in five with Gaudreau leading the way. If Dallas wins this, it's going to be with big thanks to Jake Ottinger, who's quickly becoming one of the best young goalies in the league. In Calgary, there's so many guys to choose from, but I'll go with Andrew Mangiapane. He had 35 goals this season, and depth scoring is so crucially important in the playoffs. Crazy to call him a depth scorer, but he's outside of the top three in goals for his team, which is absolutely crazy. Edmonton versus Los Angeles. This one is probably my most controversial pick as I have the Kings winning in six, even without Drew Doughty, and it looks like Jonathan Quick is back to his old form. I just don't like Edmonton's depth. However, Polya Yarby is a huge X factor. He was really hot at the beginning of the season and ice cold lately. I still like him as a buy for the future, but if we see primetime pool party get going, I think this series could flip. For LA, I think it's Arthur Kaliev. He's had a modest rookie season, but getting goal support is going to be crucial for a team that ranked 20th in goals for this season. He did look fairly good last night, too. Starting things off in the East, I think the Panthers should walk over Washington in five games, just too high-powered offensively. For the Panthers, Claude Giroux is your X-Factor player, given that he just put up 18 points in 13 games in April after a pretty weak season in Philadelphia. For Washington, if they have any shot of winning this series, it's whoever they put in net between Samsonov and Vanacek. Whoever does play is going to have to be sparkling. If they both fail in the first two games, the Fukali train is going to start. Tampa Bay and Toronto. Will the Maple Leafs make it out of the first round? Even after last night's performance? I don't think so. I think we'll see two great performances by Matthews and Marner throughout the series, but they'll fall short to a seasoned Tampa Bay team in seven grueling games. If they sneak away with a series win, I think their X factor is Michael Bunting when he gets back from injury. This guy does it all plain and simple. For Tampa, I think it's Braden Point, who's had a decent year, but I feel like more offense is definitely expected out of him. Carolina versus Boston. Carolina in six. I think Boston puts up a good fight, but just can't handle the all-around game of Carolina. For Boston, Linus Allmark is a big piece. He's starting game two, and it's crucial he gets off to a hot start and does not leave any room for talk about subbing in Swayman. If the goaltending carousel begins for Boston, I think this series goes even shorter. For Carolina, I think it's a big time for Jesperi Kakaniemi, who just signed an eight-year extension, was in the Stanley Cup Finals last season, and has had a lot of criticism thrown his way. Hurricanes are known for their depth, and Kakaniemi could bring more to the table. Lastly, the Rangers and Penguins. Rangers in five, and as a Rangers fan, if they lose this series, it's a bit of an embarrassment after all the trades they've made around the time of the deadline. None bigger than Andrew Kopp, who can play up and down the lineup and is over a point per game for the Rangers. He needs to return to action and immediately pick up where he left off. For the Penguins, Tristan Jari is currently out and Casey DeSmith is in. 
Casey DeSmith is undoubtedly the X factor for Pittsburgh if they want any chance in winning the series from the start. So I'm sure some of you will agree with my picks and some of you will not. Who do you have winning in the first round? Who are some of the players that you think are X factors that maybe are a little off the beaten path? Let me know in the comment section down below. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and consider subscribing. It's free and you can always change your mind later. Happy playoffs, everyone.